I'm James Sabalski. Down at ice level is Ray Ferraro, and we are amped up to bring you what should be a dandy matchup here this evening. I'll turn it down to ice level with my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro. What are you keeping tabs on tonight? Well, both teams like to get their D up into the rush, and when you get a D into the offense, you try to create another layer of danger, but you have to realize you're going to expose yourself to a goal against two. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Sabres start with possession as we are now underway. Here he is in front. Great pad save. Smothered that in close chance. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Jabs the puck away. Takes it to the front. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Quick feed to Atkinson. On the attack along the boards. He clearly doesn't like that. Lindholm's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Oh, he destroys them on the play. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Quick shot. Oh, going wide. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. The Wildcats gain control of it. Feeds it on over to Silverberg. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Here he is, shot right in front. A rocker off the blocker. Atkinson's been in some discomfort since he took this hit. A clean hit right through the body. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. Takes possession off the draw. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Quick pass to Henrique. Back to the blue line. Strong defensive effort. Hammers a shot, and he makes the save. St. Catharines looks to break out in their own end. Down the right side and into the zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Moves it around along the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. The Wildcats get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Terry. They've got numbers. Terry's going to play it against the half wall. And they can't connect. Handles the puck. St. Catharines has it. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Drills him. Finds some space in the corner. There he is from the slot. Denies him in close. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We've still got zeros on the board. Off the try and a nice job locking up his opponent. Nice zone entry from the middle. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Steele stick handling in his own zone. Hangs onto the puck. With the backhand! Stopped by the goaltender. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Even close. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. The Sabres have it against the wall. Moves the puck. Great stick work with the steal. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Up along the wing. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Made the save on the play. The good thing he showed up on time. There's another stop. He bailed his team out early. The setters will glide into the dot. Dubois won it in their own end. St. Catharines moves ahead with the puck. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Atkinson's in good shape here, but he ends up losing the puck and overhandled. Moves it to Lindholm. The Wildcats fight along the boards. Picks off the pass in the defensive 
zone. And here comes the pushback. And that pass goes awry. And, and they're going to go after that. Him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. The Wildcats have given their fans something more to cheer about. That fight has energized the building. That was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have cooled their jets. And here's the upcoming faceoff. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. A five minute major. Here's a short pass to Raquel. 16 minutes, 22 seconds. Takes the puck at the point. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Rocked him in the open ice. Steps across the blue line. A chance from the slot. And he gets a paddle on that one. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. Here in the later stages of this period, still looking for our first goal. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Now over to Raquel. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And that one stopped. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. Scores! What a shot! If you can work yourself in that close to the net and then get loose, man, you're just hoping somebody can find you. He one times that for a goal. Minnesota's mindset has to be through the roof if they can maintain this to the end of the first. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what it is now is you've got a little bit of breathing room with a one-goal lead. Moves the puck along the half wall. Slides it diagonally to Wierenski. Turns it away. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 17 seconds. Well, it's an opportunity for fans to stretch their legs here as the opening 20 minutes comes to an end and a chance for these players to catch their breath. Minnesota's got a 1-0 lead and well-deserved based on how they played at both ends of the ice. Are you looking to impress at your next group of And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck drop, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? St. Catharines didn't help themselves in that first period. They were kind of a turnover machine. But while the score is close, they can help themselves by making more short passes. Don't try the home run play so much. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing is where we sit at this point. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And he serves it across to Domi. Drills them. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. The Wildcats take possession in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the right side. Keeps hold of the puck. What a stop! 
I'd like to look at that one more time. Sometimes you think you've got room, but the ice closes off. That's a big hit there. And he's got to get up slowly. Minnesota's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Steals won the draw. Quick feed to Delorier. Centering pass in front. That's not going to fool him. From the neutral zone now. Off his stick. Denies him in front. Takes the puck along the boards. St. Catharines walking that line. And the puck banks off the glove. Oh, that hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as hard as he could. Goodness. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Krupasalo. St. Catharines moves it ahead. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. A chance. Makes the save. Quick pass to Koivu. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Koibu. Fires one. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Rocks him on the play. St. Catherine skins a hold of the puck against the boards. Sends a pass over. Cuts to the paint. Paddled away by Gibson. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. From point blank range, gobbles the puck up there with the chest. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Henrique's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. A shot! Oh, he'll feel that one. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Terry. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Takes a shot wide of the net. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Del Sato's moving it ahead. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Atkinson's got it against the boards. Levels him with the hit. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Through center along the wing. Moves it over to Jones. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Corpusello. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Wildcats gain possession along the wall. He's got a step. Oh, Ray, what a play. The defender comes right back and swipes this play away before it's a real dangerous chance. Made that stop. Corpusello's done it again. Another terrific save, and he's kept this game close. Well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Here in the late going of the frame, Minnesota's up one zip. St. Catharines with a big defensive zone faceoff. Minnesota's got the puck now. Taken by Raquel. Made the stop on that play. Gavrikov swooping in on the attack. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Takes a shot. And that one's turned away. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Grabs the puck in the corner. And now it's grabbed by Foligno. Oh, what a stop by Gibson. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Raquel's got it through center. To the low slot. Big time stop. And that'll do it for period number two. This is still anyone's hockey game. It's 1-0 after 40. All right, fans, time for tonight's lucky road giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row 10. Each fan receives a limited... Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down.
right, here we go. A big third period set to go. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Uses the force on that hit. Moves the puck over to Dubois. Laying the body. Puck grabbed by Silverberg. He takes a moment to backtrack but maintains possession. Dishes it to Getzlaff. He got all of that hit. St. Catharines takes possession along the wall. Taken along the wall by Savard. And now he angles it across to Atkinson. St. Catharines takes it across the line. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the call is. Lindholm's called for tripping. He's off to the box. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. St. Catharines gets set to go to work on the power play for the first time tonight. A well-deserved power play coming up here, looking for the tying goal. They've been really pushing hard, and they drew this penalty through that hard work. Maintains possession, and the puck is cleared to a safer spot. St. Catharines will play it from behind the net. Wierenski's got the puck along the wing. Moves it to Koivu. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing the score. St. Catharines wins the draw. Unloads it! Denies him with the save! The centerman glide into position. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. He got all of that one. Tries to get it out of their own end. And they get it down. That yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. They go on the attack through center. Let's it go. Gets in front of it. Their teammate jumps out of the box. We are back to even strength, and the penalty-killing unit gets it done with that one-goal lead intact. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. Stick save and a view by Gibson. Oh, and another big stop. Gibson's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. St. Catharines wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Scores! We just keep working away. Your lines roll over and over and over. You hope to build a little momentum. One shot ties the game. And now it's a whole new ball. And we are all evened up here. Control of the faceoff by the offensive team allows them to snap it into position for the shot. The goalie's not set, and he gets beat on it. St. Catharines has made what should be a fun finish to this one, Ray. Well, now that they're even, it's, it's a sprint to the finish line, and one mistake will likely be the critical point to this game. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Made the stop on the play. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Grabbed along the board by Lindholm. He says, let's get physical on that play. Minnesota's across the blue line. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Minnesota. 
Minnesota sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. Gets it out of his own end. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the half wall with the puck. Nice poke check. Passes right to the front. Whoa. They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender. The Wildcats have gone ahead here in this third period. They'll want to continue to be aggressive, though, James. They don't have enough of a cushion to sit back. Dubois won the draw. The Wildcats pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. That's a big time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Gains the zone. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Quick pass across to Silverberg. That pass doesn't go. Takes a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Turn that chance aside. St. Catharines looks to move the puck from their own end. Works it across to Atkinson. St. Catharines plays the puck along the boards. Lowers the boom with that hit. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. Smart defensive play there. Minnesota's on the attack. Takes the pass. Oh, what a stop. The Sabres scoop it up along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Savard. Sends it over to Bjorkstrand. The Sabres take it across the line. Here's a short pass to Felino. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. There's the collision. Well, the best defense is to play some offense as well. This is a smart play. With the lead, he dumps it into the corner. Now he can forecheck a little bit, try to kill some clock. Pokes it away in his own end. Quick feed to Lindholm. Broken up with a stick. Can't keep a hold of it. St. Catharines gets the puck near the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick pass to Koibu. St. Catharines plays it along the wing. And that's broken up. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Let's the wrister fly. Stopped by the goaltender. Approaching the final 60 seconds of this one. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Raquel. Moving into the attacking zone. St. Catharines tries to break out from their own end. They fight for it along the boards. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Sabres have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Slides the puck over. Steps with the block. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Fails to find the open man. The Sabres have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Atkinson. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. And there's the save. Gibson's helping out it. Scores! Oh, there it is, Dave. Eventually, if you give up chances, you're going to give one up. But I thought it was too late. Yet they find a way to level the game off. Well, they were all over the place with the extra attacker on the ice. Finally, they cash through. Punch one in. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Domi's won the draw here in the neutral zone. By number 13, by number Regulation time comes to an end. That means we've got some overtime coming up.
Moments away, we'll drop the puck for overtime. is set to get underway. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Time to boogie. Overtime has begun. Ray, I know you love these moments. Made the stop on the play. And here's a shot. There's another stop. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Kurt Vassalo's able to make the save. As we see here, this is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. The Sabres get a hold of the puck in their own end. Across the line. Let's it go. Nothing. The Wildcats get a hold of the puck along the boards. From center, they get into the attacking area. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is so often in a in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck you get your stick in the wrong spot he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do minnesota's got a four on three power play and time is clearly on their side what an opportunity here with the power play in overtime you take total control of the situation one shot one goal it's your game great stick saved by corpusello trying to get the puck out of his own end and clearing attempt is a big success on that play. The Wildcats have it against the wall. Minnesota's got it across the line. Slides it across. Game on a stick, and he misses. We're still tied. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Receives the pass. Looking to end it. Oh, and he missed. Moves with the puck at the corner. Let's it go from the slot. Big save. The arms up, there's the whistle, and boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. Del Sato's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. I guess it's a little bit of bad luck, James. I mean, he's reaching for the puck. He's in position to try and keep the play moving, but he trips him up. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Well, this overtime couldn't go much worse for them. Another penalty. Man, they're going to be killing penalties, hopefully, for them the rest of this overtime, it seems like. They just want to get out alive. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. And with the two tied up off the face off, a great read to grab possession of the puck. And they managed to clear it. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. This one's still up for grabs in the final minute of sudden death. Nice pass. Denied by the goaltender. And the puck leaves the zone. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. The Wildcats move it ahead. Here's a Sean Love save. Vassalo's able to snare that scoring chance. Good glove stop there. A critical draw here. Jenners won a big draw in their own end. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And manages to clear the zone. The Wildcats gain control of the puck against the wall. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a chance! And he missed the net! We'll play on! Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Puts the puck on net! Stopped by the goaltender. Hey, if you got another chance, let's see that again. This becomes a dead end in a hurry. Watch how he lays the shoulder. Right there. That's a big hit. A lot on the line. 
win here in this offensive zone faceoff. Minnesota's got it and they're on the attack. Moves it to Fowler. Too many bodies in the way. Fowler's all over the front of the net. He's battling hard to keep his position in front of the net. There's the horn, and we are off to a shootout. We'll take a quick timeout, and the shootout is on its way next. Concession stands located throughout the stadium. Welcome back, everyone. Well, it's time to put up or shut up for both the goaltenders and the players. It's time for the shootout. A lot of people lament the shootout, but look at this place right now. Crowd is on the... Oh, what a move! Scores! He really sells this. The goalie bites on the deep, and he's able to finish it off. He really sold this move on the goaltender who bit hard. Then he was able to put it inside the post. chance to take the lead here in this shootout of the back half of round number two. And he denies him. Really important for the goalie to be solid in the shootout. Next shooter for the savings, number 16, Max Nomi. Absolutely nothing doing on that. Sometimes you make a move, sometimes you choose to shoot, and there's just nothing there. Here's a chance to seal the deal. Number 33, and that clangs off the iron. A chance of glory, and he comes up empty-handed. The goaltender does a really nice job, shuts the door, and will continue. This game is still wide open as we head on to the next round. And he buries it for the goal. I really like how he made this look like he was good at deep, but he doesn't. He stays with the shot. And he capitalizes. Shattenkirk's got to come up with a goal here or it's all over. Kevin Makes the save and as the old song goes, celebrate good times. That's like a closer in baseball. You come in and you put it to bed. St. Catharines gets a big-time win here in the shootout. They worked on this in practice the other day. Actually, they were very good, but they were money tonight. Always tough for the goalie to read where the puck's going off the backhand. In the meantime and in between time, 